Hello everyone, this is going to be for all the Capricorn people on the collective and this is going to be for the month of January 2024 so what do we want to know for Capricorn peoples for the month of Jan 2024 we've got soulmates, wow, again we've got a few other zodiac signs got the soulmates card as well go the distance, the fates between two worlds so we've got the soulmates go the distance and the fates this is basically saying to me if this is a love relationship it's asking you to go the distance love relationship any relationship career relationship something is fated in your life in the month of Jan something someone is fated what is fated? Blessings. See? Blessings. It's asking you to go the distance for someone. It's asking you to go the distance for yourself. It's asking you to go the distance for a career path. For example, choose freedom. Okay, let's really see what else can we pick up for the Capricorn people. Go within, guardian of emotion, organization. You are actually a very organizational person, Capricorn. So choose freedom. It's like if you are in a love relationship or a career relationship, um, it's basically saying to you, Sometimes you may feel as though you are blocked, but often that's just the illusion. You could free yourself from obstacles that you are so focused on by choosing a different path. Now, a different path and going the distance. This, and then you've got organizations. Your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline in your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Go within. It's basically asking you that you, it's saying Capricorn that you are a very intuitive person. Gut feeling, psychic. Take time to be quiet. Reflect. Reflect on people. Reflect on situations. Reflect on desires. Um, and the guardian of emotion. Um, the situation requires emotional maturity and total trust. You're surrounded by those who have the only best intentions, so you can rely on advice that you're given. So, it's saying to me, in some area of your life, it is fated for you to go the distance. Stand your ground. Go within. Sending, standing your ground is an empowering confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it. And you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. This is what you see with um, the Light Seer's Tarot. Queen of Swords. Capricorn, this is basically by standing your ground. It's saying to me, in your family, love, relationships, um, career, to be more direct, assertive. King of Wands. Do everything in the month of January with passion. Passion. It's saying that you are feeling balanced, stable within yourself as a person. And we've got blessings. We've got blessings. But it's asking yourself to basically go the distance <coughs> towards a fated situation. King of Swords. Again, this can be regarding a soulmate connection. If you are in a marriage or a love relationship, go the distance, go create. Um, might mean that, I'm not going to say the month of Jan, but within the year of 2024, if you've been single and looking for a soulmate or looking for someone spectacular and special, this can happen for many Capricorn people. But it's asking you to go the distance. Something is fated 
on your current life path. Um, now, with the King and Queen of Swords, this is like two people coming together. It can be in a business relationship, career, family, or home, or love. Um, but if it's in love, it's basically saying it's two people coming together with similar type of experiences in life. Um, it is two people coming together that are able to assist, to guide, to help each other through the difficulties of life, for example. Um, and it's saying that this, is, this connection is a blessed connection, but feel passionate about it. It's like, for example, if you're opening up a business, it's fated, um, but do it with passion. Do it with all the love and passion and desire that you've got within yourself. But something in the Capricorn people's life is fated in the month of Jan. I mean, for each and every person, it's going to be different. But it's showing in saying that you are feeling balanced within yourself. You are feeling happy within yourself. You are feeling possibly you have enough with yourself and you want to share with someone else. Go the distance. Um, have your own sense of freedom as well. Don't get, for example, your choice, your decision, don't get too codependent on a person, place, or situation. Because something is blessed. But it's also asking you to think things through before you, for example, make an impulsive decision. Um, go within. Ask yourself. What, for example, in love relationships... What is your deal breakers? What you will tolerate? Um, go within. What do you need? I hope I made sense. Please let me know in the comments what is fated in your life and how you are being blessed in the month of Jan. I would love to know. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Bye.